Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's me again, Sergeant First Class Briones, and today I would like to speak about uh, some te techniques that we can use when it comes to leading teams as a leader and how we can manage it better and use it to our advantage to meet our end goal. Um, that being said, a couple things that I'd like to speak about today would be the stages of group and team, lead um, team development. You probably don't even notice this, but there are stages that happened during this process that we don't even notice. I'm sure everybody's been part of a group before, been in a classroom setting to where we have to work together, and there are stages that happen in between that that we don't even notice, at, like what I said. Um, conflict management is gonna be part of that. So there's a certain stage in the process to where conflict is uh, a very healthy, common thing that happens. It's totally fine, um, but managing it could be better um, as far as meeting the end goal and all that good stuff. Um, and also, as part of a team, meetings will be happening. So managing that meeting and knowing how to manage it to our advantage uh, would definitely help out with regards to meeting your end goal overall and having a better result overall as well. So first things first, stages of group development, as like what I said earlier. Um, to name them is the forming stage, storming, the norming stage, performing stage, and the adjourning stage. I want to talk about the forming stage. You, this is where everybody starts to meet um, the meet and greet portion of things. Everybody introduces, them, it introduces themselves, everybody um, builds the trusting relationships, having great conversations and things like that, and pretty much feeling each other out to make sure um, that everybody's going to be working together and who's going to be the difficult person to work with, things like that. Um, the storming stage is where the conflict portion of things, as I mentioned earlier, is where it's going to happen. This is where everybody's going to challenge each other and debate and have questions and things like that when it comes to uh, meeting and talking about the goal itself and how they're going to get there. Uh, once that's completed, once everybody settles down and um, gets to know each other and all the questions have been answered and conflict has been managed properly, which I'm going to talk about here in a little bit, um, the norming stage is where it's going to happen. This is where everybody feels comfortable, everybody trusts each other, they know the roles in the group and in the team, and then they are going to move forward towards the performing stage of things to where they're going to start functioning like a machine to where everybody knows their role, um, everybody knows what they need to do and uh, how they're going to get to that point. Finally, once the goal has been met, obviously they're not going to be sticking together forever, so they have to adjourn and go their separate ways, give high fives and um, celebrate on their success with regards to meeting the, their goal at one point. Next thing that I would like to speak about is the conflict management. So like what I said, at one point in that portion where the storming stage is going to happen, there's going to be conflict in between the team members and the group members. Um, for you to be able to manage that, there's a couple techniques that um, I would like to talk about, which is first things first, create and maintain a bond even with your adversary. Like what I said earlier, um, in the beginning of the stages, uh, people are going to start noticing that there are certain people that they don't get along with. Um, if you close your mind and if you decide that you're never going to agree with this person, then there's not going to be any progress that's going to happen. That's why having that bond with your adversary, that way you can find a compromise in between the two of you, or not necessarily just the two of you, but finding a compromise um, for you to be able to move forward and find a solution to the problem. Um, dialogue and negotiate. Obviously, be open-minded. Talk to your teammates. Figure out what the solution is and go towards that sort of direction. That way you can move towards the uh, performing portion of things over there. Uh, this one's uh, a good one, which is put, put the fish on the table. It's uh, an old Sicilian saying to where a metaphor of a group of fishermen puts um, f uh, fish on the table and if they figure out how to clean the fish together and work together as a team, they'll be able to find a solution and be able to sell that fish and make profit. Now, if they decide to sweep it under the rug and put it under the table, that fish is gonna rot and the problem is gonna stay there and it's gonna start to 
uh, have a bad odor to it and now you're not getting rid or solving the problem you're just hiding it same thing with functioning as a group um, knowing ex exactly what the problem and being willing, willing to work together and find a solution for that problem would definitely be the best way to go instead of sweeping it under a rug and ignoring it um, use the law of reciprocity so um, give respect gain respect um, you give what you uh, or you get what you get pretty much so if you're willing to participate and respect your team members then you most likely they're going to respect you back uh, understand what causes the conflict so again put the fish on the table uh, knowing the problem finding a solution together will definitely help each other uh, build a positive relationship so again going back to that forming stage um, of the group forming to where having that um, that relationship the positive relationship regardless if you're it's this person is your adversary or if you get along will definitely strengthen that bond and everybody's going to be a lot more willing to cooperate and help each other now finally the meeting ma um, the management or the meeting uh, management technique that I'd like to speak about and going back to what I said earlier at one point there's going to be a meeting that has to be held for you guys to be able to collaborate and brainstorm um, so that you can make a plan on how to meet that end goal uh, a couple management techniques that I would like to speak about is uh, you have to have a well thought out, well thought out structure when it comes to the meeting so you don't want to be going into this meeting as a leader without a sense of direction of what you need to talk about, what need, what the end goal is, and things like that. Um, organization and order. So knowing that structure, obviously, is going to maintain the organization and the order th throughout the meeting instead of going to all different directions and not getting anywhere. Um, establish a clear agenda. Again, knowing the end goal, you can reverse engineer that and come up, or we call it a backwards planning in the military because you know what you need from there is how you're, you're going to figure out how to get there and uh, encourage members to participate obviously so empower your group members empower your team members um, that way they will feel involved in the process as well as they will feel uh, a lot more satisfied once the goal has been met because they were given a chance to participate and put their input towards that goal um, collaboration and cooperation again working together and then meeting uh, management techniques that you could use for you guys to be able to progress and help each other out. A couple uh, meeting management techniques that I'd like to talk about is seeking out different opinions. So obviously being willing to listen, being willing to pick each other's brains and getting get ideas from each other will definitely strengthen the bond and definitely help you um, get your uh, meet your end goal when it comes to um, trying to figure out how to get there use group pronouns not self-oriented uh, ones would be a good one to do as well so the whole we us instead of using me or I definitely helps uh, with regards to uh, managing that uh, that meeting and uh, getting everybody involved um, let's see avoid easy conflict reducing techniques so a couple things uh, to cite is like flipping the coin. I don't think that's a very good way to resolve any conflict or find a solution. Um, be more technical with it and be more scientific um, as far as finding that solution and things like that. So those are the couple techniques that I'd like to uh, like to speak about. And again, in summary, the five I talked about the five stages of group development. Um, I talked about the six essential skills for managing conflict. Again, uh, putting the fish on the table and all those good things will get you to where you need to be and get everybody involved. And also part of being in a group is having a meeting. So knowing uh, how to manage that meeting will definitely help each, everybody out um, with regard to meeting that end goal and being successful and everybody's gonna be happy. Again, my name is Sergeant First Class Briones. Thank you for listening today and have a good night.